guys welcome back to my channel if today is your first time on this channel you're welcome on this channel we bring to you cooking lifestyle as well as tips as you know today i'm here to share some tips with you so if today is your first time you know what are you waiting for click on that subscribe button and don't forget to click on the bell icon so that whenever i upload a new video you get notified so i've got my water <laughs> i'm going to be sipping from time to time as i share these tips with you you know we can rub mine share knowledge and all that so um yeah so today we are going to be talking about how to save money as we know saving is very very important you need to save something on a rainy day you know so that you can go back to it on a sunny day when there's nothing uh, for you to go back to. So you can always go back to your saving. So but how do you actually save? It's very, very important to know that, to understand that. How do we save? So some people rely on salary, like me, <laughs> as I'm sitting here right now, I rely on salary. Some people, they are business owners. So it depends which one you are in, into. So for those people who relies on salary, you know that your salary comes in every uh, end of the month. So you have to plan ahead. You have to budget what you are going to be doing. So to do this, especially if you are those, the, those, um, if you are in that category of these people that wait for a salary, you have to have a strategy that you can uh, use, that you can adopt to uh, be able to save otherwise it's going to be very difficult for you to save especially if um you know if you are not earning much because some people they work like part-time especially if you have children i like myself i work part-time some people if you are lucky you have somebody that is looking after your, ch uh, your children that you can work like full-time and you have to really earning uh, some substantial amount of money if you are taking your child to a child minder and some people they rely on business so these people that rely on business so they cannot they can do their business from home so in this case you won't you won't have to worry about child care so you can stay at home and make your money and at the same time look after your children so how do we say especially those people that are working how i say i'm going to be sharing with you First, I know that my salary comes in every month. So what I do is to plan ahead. I've got a credit card. So this credit card, some people, they are not good in managing money, especially some people, they are not good um, in using credit card because they are. if you are not a disciplined person, you won't be able to use credit card because you ended up spending more than you can afford. So credit card is not for everybody if you you can only use credit card if you're disciplined with money if you know how to manage money then you can use credit card so i use credit card uh from time to time but what i'm trying what i'm trying to you know to to say is that you know how much you are earning every month so you know how much is coming in every month so what you need to do is that you budget your money Okay, now you pay your rent. It's important. You need to pay your rent. You need to pay other bills like water, electricity, insurance, your car or whatever that you have to do. Uh, you have to do on your car. So you have to, you know, set that uh, set that aside as well. So all these kind of things. So you have to plan it so that you know what you should do when the money comes in. So what I do, every month when I receive money, I know how much I spend on my credit card. So I don't want to spend too much on the credit card. I only use my credit card for like a grocery, you know. Okay, we do this bulk, bulk uh, uh, shopping every month. But in between, <laughs> before in between, you can see uh, go for shopping, like the little things that you want that you need mm? for example like uh, uh, grow, um, milk um, vegetable fruit and all those kind of things 
so you need it so i use this i use my credit card on this one so even if i am spending the credit card is not that much i will spend before the month ending so whenever i receive my salary i take i take okay i will pay my rent is already there sorted out my other bill water bill and electricity sorted out then the credit card which i have used i pay it so you know even you don't have to pay all the credit card anyway but if you want to avoid paying interest on top of this credit card then you have to pay that date that you are due to pay the money back so but if you know you don't have the money then you can you know some couple of pounds on top of the credit card it will not hurt anybody so you can always okay you know pay the amount that you can afford and then in the end in, in the near future when other money comes in then you can use it to pay uh the balance of the credit card so what i do after you know all my important uh, bills i pay all my important bills then what is left i know that this is what is left for me so i will try as much as possible to save something no matter how little it is no matter how little it is i don't buy clothes for my children every month i don't buy it clothes for myself every month as well so if you know how to budget your money you know that okay this month i'm not going to buy clothes for my children because you you your children i mean you don't wait for your children clothes to be that old before you buy so you can always buy whenever money comes in so you don't have to be buying clothes every month so sometimes like not every month that i buy clothes for my children so even myself so maybe some month you say okay i'm not going to buy clothes this month maybe in two months time you don't even buy clothes at all for your children because they have something they are using anyway then at this time in this in between this month that you are not buying clothes then you can use that money to save on your you can save even more on your saving so um some people like sometimes you hear some people saying that oh when you save money come and invest and all that kind of a thing yes it's good to invest it's good to invest but what are you actually investing into so if you don't have an idea on what you are investing into then you might as well lose all the money that you have so far for you know saving all these years or all this time if you are just taking money to go and invest because that's what people oh invest your money but my advice is that you put your money in your bank as you are saving you save them in the bank and they grow so nobody is going to touch your money your money is not going to disappear nobody is going to scam you no fraud is going to take your money away even as you um you are saving then you are also looking around a legit uh, investment that you can go into because investment is not something that you 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 invest and you think that you can get things back sometimes you can invest money on a whatever then at the end of the day you cannot you will not be able to get anything back so which is um <laughs> is kind of a tricky one so that is why it's very important to kind of um, take a, a, a moment to research and know what you actually want to do with your money instead of just taking it because people say, oh, go and invest money. Don't put your money in the bank. Oh, the bank. No, put your money in the bank. Your money is not going to disappear from the bank. The money in the bank is your own. At least when you look, so, okay, I still have some, something there. <laughs> rather than carry the money and go and dump it in somewhere as oh i want to invest something because people say oh go invest so you have to really know what you are investing in because the one that is in your bank account that one is your own nobody will take it away from you so that is why i always advise people that even when you are investing know what you are investing on and uh, you don't just take all your money and go and invest it you have to have something a backup if you know what i mean Excuse me, let me sip water. So you have to have a backup. You have to have something that um, when emergency, in case of emergency, sorry, you'll be able to run to this, this one. 
So you don't just take all the money that you have and go and put it on investment and you come and sit down. When um, if it's to, if any, if anything goes wrong, then you don't have anything. You just be you, you'll be stranded. So it's very very important to be able to say put something aside even as you are investing the money, so that um, if that money ended up not yielded anything, any any anything at all, then you know that okay I have something. So investment is not for everybody. It's, it's, it's not for everybody. It's not for everybody. Investment is for people that, 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 that have excess. You know, okay, money is coming from here. Money is coming from here. You have excess. So if you take some out of that excess and invest it on something, even if it didn't give you any return, you still have something to look up to, you know. But if you have just enough that you don't have excess, then you don't just take that and put it in investment. Unless you are investing it in something that you're really sure that the money is not going to disappear, the money is not going to go away, that definitely, definitely something is going to come out from there. Then even then, you cannot take all your money to put it on, 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 on investment and come and sit down empty-handed. What about in case of emergency? What are you going to do? So, yeah, that is... Uh, my that is what i think so i don't know what you think so i just want to share how this is what, how i save i save i save like whatever no matter how little it is i try to save something i don't buy clothes every month you know or myself or my children so i can buy clothes maybe once in two months for my kids then i can buy for myself you know maybe once in two months three months it doesn't matter so yeah and uh, it's very very important to be disciplined with money so everybody have their own race so you don't have to go and start to racing another person you don't have to race another person uh, race because you don't know how they started so you don't look as oh this person say oh this is how he succeeded or whatever and then you start pushing and you know exhausting yourself try to you know i don't you don't try to kill yourself for not just racing because Oh, uh, you say, oh, because this person say this is what that's what the person tells you. But do you know? <laughs> do you know the fact? So you just have to run your own race. Run your own race. Plan your own thing. Do your own thing. Do your own research. Try to understand how to save. And uh, as well as try to be disciplined with money. Don't spend too much. Don't buy what you cannot afford. Just be, you know. Be, be contented for what, of, of, of what you have. Don't try to, 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 to buy what you cannot afford. You are not pleasing anybody. Nobody cares. <laughs> Maybe they don't, they don't even know you. So if you are buying things to impress somebody, that person don't even know. If you are wearing gold, you are wearing uh, silver, it's you that you are wearing gold that you know you are wearing gold. It's all, uh, maybe the person that knows something, that's, oh, okay, you are wearing gold. So there, there, there's some gold that is gold plated, gold plating. Sorry, <laughs> you cannot differentiate it. So you don't just have this one who's wearing this and I have to be. You no, know, just be your own person. Be your own person. Run your own race. Just look your own straight. Look your own. Maintain your own lane. So that will really help you to um, to be able to survive in this um, difficult world that we have now. So guys, I hope these little tips uh, will help you to think, to try to, you know, uh, you know, think of what you can do, how to save money, how to be disciplined with money. Whatever is your opinion, we are here to learn, to share ideas. You can leave, feel free to leave it on the comment uh, section. Uh, I will really appreciate it. And uh, thank you for joining me for this uh, little rob mind this afternoon i hope you enjoyed this video as well as i do if you do please don't forget to give me thumbs up and share this video with people that you know that can benefit from this video thank you for watching me until i come your way again next time goodbye